And welcome to Tuesday at 2 with Leanne Lyon and Now Sight. It is 2 o'clock Central Time that we do this each week. Uh, we go through a little bit of an introduction to what Now Sight Marketing is, and then we usually follow it with some training. So we're going to do a little bit of a focus today on um, uh, you know, what's the difference between sales and marketing and how does now site really help with that? So that's what we're going to stay focused on for this um, beginning introduction today. And I will have this up on YouTube a little bit later today. So that if this is something you want to share, I'd be thrilled to have you share that. Again, my name is Leanne Lyon. My company is called Joyminder Consulting. And you can find me on YouTube with that name, Joyminder Consulting. I'll put it up on the screen behind me right here. There you go. Um, so just go to YouTube, type in Joyminder Consulting, and that's where you can find this video in the future and all the other videos that I've done in the past. So let's get going. Uh, now, site, let's say I do see we have a new person in here, Jackie, if you want to go ahead and enter, put something in the chat about where you're calling in from and how long you've been with Now Site, I'd love to know that as I go through this presentation. And likewise, if uh, one of the other NowSite users could help anybody else entering the room enter that information, that would be much appreciated. I like to customize this as much as possible. All right, so we are going to share the screen now, or very shortly. There we go. Hmm. This uh, looks like it's going to be one of those give it a try a couple times things, but oh, we actually did it. One moment. I'm going to share the screen yeah, right here. And there we go. We are actually up and running. <laughs> Again, now site business presentation. My name is Leanne. Um, as you probably know, um, starting a business and not telling anybody you started a business is um, not recommended. It's just not going to get you very far. But 99% of independent business owners do not have a professional online marketing presence. So let's pick this sentence apart just for a minute. 99% of independent business owners. So we're not talking about the big power companies or the people that are spending $20,000 on a website. I'm talking about the people who would never want to spend $20,000 on a website um, for multiple reasons, possibly because they just don't have that ability, like 20 grand just hanging out to put into a website. And the thing with that $20,000 website is you don't know what it's going to do. You don't know how it's going to help. And so we need to maximize as, as independent business owners, we need to maximize our dollars. We need to put more money back into our business, but not into things that are just going to sit there like an electronic lump in the corner, which is what a lot of websites end up being. And so we'd really like to um, you know, do more and yet spend less independent business owners. Who are they? They could be your neighbor who's a realtor, right? Realtors often have their own real estate website through their brokerage. What more do they need? Well, that's great, but it brands the brokerage, not the realtor. And so uh, realtors are enjoying now site because they're able to now focus on who they are as a realtor. What's their specialty? Who do they who do they serve most? Who's got their heart? So that they can really make those connections more quickly with the people they want to work with. And it doesn't stop at real estate. It can be realtors. It can be insurance people. It can be plumbers. It can be um, the handyman. It can be somebody that's starting a network marketing company, which it, I'm starting, a, starting in a network marketing company. Not many people start network marketing companies from scratch, unless they do have some cash to start with. But network marketing people, MLMs, sometimes it's called, they are independent business owners. And oftentimes they're in it, they've already invested maybe a thousand dollars or more into starting that business. And that's the most that they had. So now they need to market their business. They need to get the word out about what they're doing and why they're doing it. There's another reason why it's important to brand yourself. And that is because 
things change. A year ago, I had joyminder.com, but it was it, I had a different focus on it because it had a lot more to do with travel, which is a joy that I love. And then we're not traveling so much for some reason. Hmm. So as I switched, you know, who I am, what I stand for, why people like me and what I stand for didn't change. What I was focused on did, but my website through, you know, my personally branded site can help people make those transitions with me through life. And we all go through transitions in life. In fact, people change businesses quite frequently. Realtors change brokers. MLM people change MLMs. So bring your people with you and don't just leave them stuck wondering what happened in the old company or the old uh, place. Let me introduce you to Justin Bellababa. He is the founder and CEO of NowSite. He has graduated magna cum laude in economics from Harvard University. Not like, wow, um, that's pretty impressive actually. That's not an easy thing to do. Uh, founded a medical software company, was named the fastest growing company in Canada, took it public, named Young Entrepreneur in 2010, which if I do my calculations right, means he was under 40, I think in his early 30s potentially and founded a chain of 100 virtual health clinics, which he sold to a private equity group in 2016. Now he's come over to NowSite in 2017. I've had the blessing of hearing him speak quite candidly in some groups that I'm part of, and I enjoy just the heart that he has behind what he does, and it's really around these people, around us, small business owners, independent business owners. And this is going to get more into the crux of really what I want to cover today. What do small independent business owners do that marketing companies tell us we should do? It's marketing. <laughs> it's marketing. But we don't do marketing a lot. Small business owners are very, very focused for the most part on sales. And there's a good reason we're focused on sales. We are focused on sales because we have a mortgage to pay or a car payment to pay or some college payment to pay or whatever the case may be, we have, bill we have bills and so we do sales. And if you look at what a lot of people in lots of these different areas do, now realtors can't offer you a sale, that's a different thing. Um, but let's talk about the MLMers or a plumber or somebody that's starting a now site and they say, um, you know, instead of always saying, I've got a deal, I've got a deal, I've got a sale, hey, Christmas sale, hey, this sale, hey, that sale. All you're really saying there is buy from me now, buy from me now, buy from me now. And again, I get it. We need the sales because we need the dough. But that's not how bigger businesses operate businesses, bigger businesses, operate with branding and marketing. So this is why Justin Bellababa created NowSite to help smaller business owners do this, this branding and marketing, and yet not take up half your week figuring it out. Because that's pretty much where I was even last summer before I found NowSite, I had Joyminder Consulting but oh, there were days I'd wake up and just sit at the computer and think, you know, I could play that game <laughs> or I could, you know, dive into finding content, posting content, um, connecting with different people. And it just became this kind of overwhelming cloud that I, I quite frankly didn't enjoy doing. There are people in the world who love to do that. Yay for them. <laughs> but it's not me. And I don't want to spend my week doing that. I want to do what I'm best at doing, which is connecting with people, coaching, training, coaching, but more training, educating, connecting. That's what I love to do. And yet I need to brand myself as that. And I need to do marketing to help people find me because that is what the big businesses do. Apple does not have sales. 
They, you never, I don't think you ever go to their website and have them, Hey, 50% off if they did. Can you imagine? <laughs> that would be insane. Um, but what they do all the time is they brand how good they are, how different they are, Macintosh versus PC or whatever else, what their unique selling propositions are. Why would we get an Apple instead of a, an Android? And likewise, Androids are doing the same thing or the Windows um, phone or whatever the, the things are. Obviously, I haven't been swayed by the marketing yet. Um, but we build an, a, a feeling and an alliance with the people that are going to like what we do. And we do, and that's what marketing is. The other thing that marketing does is this it helps us to not only get sales today, which it does help. If somebody's ready to buy, and you happen to market to them at that point, they're probably going to come right on over and make the purchase. But most people you know aren't looking today to buy something, but they might be looking tomorrow or next week or next month or next year. So um, if you're only focused on today, you might miss out on what the other 364 days of the year could bring. Because ultimately, you need to have as many contacts as possible to, in order to lead to more customers. You need to be reaching people where they're at, how they like to be reached, so that they remember when they have a need that you have a solution. So that's a big difference right there between sales and marketing. The playing field has been leveled in a way by all of the social media. Hey, we can post everywhere, we can be everywhere, and that's true. Um, but people, if they see the same thing everywhere, um, after a while, they can get tired of it. At the same time, seeing the same thing everywhere helps to solidify the image and the brand of who you are in multiple places. But who really has the time? If you have a passion for baking pies, how much time do you have to learn Pinterest and Twitter and YouTube and LinkedIn and whatever this one is? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, and learn all these different platforms and start a Facebook group. You know, it's just too much to do. Basically, we end up feeling like this. The, between the cost, the complexity, and the learning curve, we get stuck. And again, this is where I was in July of this year. On top of it, the cost was a big thing for me. I didn't want to do it because I was the time was really affecting me. But the cost, I mean, I was spending hundreds of dollars a month to do a portion of what I knew I should or needed to do to market my brand and my company. The complexity and learning curve, well, that's just, I mean, that can be crazy. And again, look back here, complexity, learning curve. I went to a training one time recently on how to post a, just an ad on Facebook. The training was like 45 minutes long on how to post one ad. Now, no, if you get good at it, you're obviously going to speed up and you don't have to go through a training every time you post an ad, but it was so complicated and you got to figure it's going to be different on every other one of these platforms. So what if instead you could post an ad on lots and lots and lots of different places, all with completing a simple form? So I'm going to show that to you right now. So let's let's pretend we're going to create a form. I'm looking for my slide here. And we're going to start by entering just some very simple information. You create a full color ad um, right online. At the moment, I don't think it's available in the app, but I'm sure they're working on it, where you enter just the title a 90 character title, a 30 character title, and up to 90 characters of description. You put in a couple of photos and then you can select where you want to target. So I'm currently running an ad that's dropping on top of the Mall of America and it's focused on helping business owners who don't have a great online presence to get a better one. So I picked that ad and I decided, hey, I'll expand it just far enough so that people that happen to be going through the Minneapolis St. Paul airport, you know, the three of them a day. Um, we'll see this as well. Yes, we are recording this when people are still not traveling. Uh, furthermore, I can target market. I may or may not really want to reach people that are under the age of 24. Um, I, in my case, I want to reach both females and males, but I can put in target keywords like entrepreneur, business owner, different things like this so that I can 
really narrow in on the types of people that I really want to have see my ad. If I had a business, whoops, that um, maybe does really well with advertising at night, I could actually change these um, times down here to, to target when do my people need to see this. And there are some parameters around that, but it's pretty cool that you can select all of that. What happens then is that it actually, with one click, you click start and it goes everywhere. It goes on to iPhones, Androids, tablets, desktops, laptops, but more importantly, it goes on all these different websites. Learning curve, whoop, like really quick. All you had to do, title, long title, short title, description, two photos, a little bit of information. These ads can go up in five minutes and then they go everywhere with no additional learning curves. So no matter where people are at, I worked with a realtor recently who's coming on and he said, yeah, I really want to do this, but how do I know that people will see my ad? Cause he's gonna drop his ad on to a large local corporation. And I said, well, have you ever seen anybody in the last five years not have their phone on them? And I said, in this business, do you think all the employees have their phone with them at their desk? And could they possibly be looking at Twitter, Forbes, AOL, Yahoo, Google, Bloomberg, Facebook, any of these throughout the day? Well, of course, yeah. So if we target that location, and the types of people that he's looking for, we can make sure that his ad will get seen on where those people are looking. Does that make sense? So we're really going to market to those people. He's a realtor. How often do people sell their houses? On average, about once every seven years. Um, somebody quick in the chat put in, what's seven times 365? <laughs> it's a lot of days that people are not thinking about selling their home or buying a new home. It's a lot, like 2,000. 2,000 days will go by between people um, deciding that they're gonna sell or buy a home. And so he still wants to market to those people all 2,000 of those days. So when they're ready, they don't have to wonder who they're gonna go with. They're gonna go with him because he's been keeping in touch with them. Okay, well, that begs a question. How does he keep in touch with them? So he runs an ad, they click on the ad, boom. Let's click on the ad and immediately they go to a website. In this case, we have a, a realtor's website here. It happens to be with a great broker, GXP. And uh, they click on the website and this guy says, hey, I'd love to be in touch. Enter your information and I'll show you this gorgeous house. So, so a question I've had a couple times this week is, well, how do we get our calendar integrated? Well, a couple of different ways. You can put a button link into your, into your web page where they click here to schedule. Obviously, when they schedule, they're probably going to give you their name, their email, and their phone number. But we recommend you do this instead. Um, put a form into your page that they enter, phone, email, name. When they enter that information, it goes into your CRM. Now you for sure have this information from these interested people and you can immediately shoot out an email. It's automatic in there. It's a part of this system that they, boom, they get an email before the realtor even knows somebody's landed on his website. So they're getting an email and guess what's in the email? Hey, I'd love to show you this house. Book a time with me. And there's the button. They click on and they book it. They go to over to his calendar. It can be Calendly. It can be 10 to 8. It can be, there's so many great calendars out there to book a time. They select a time and then they're off to the races. And I love how automated this is because the ad is out there running to attract the right person at the right time, to bring them to a website, to help them get signed up with and be connected to the realtor to send them an email so that they get into the CRM. Do you see how beautiful this is? It's just such a gorgeous system. And let's say the realtor realizes that this person isn't going to buy a home today. That would be sales. Is he gonna drop them like a bad hat? I hope not because 
2,000 days later, <laughs> they might be in the market. So he needs to have an email campaign, something that goes out, something that is friendly, something that says, hey, I was thinking of you. And so we want to you know, make sure that we're winning that relationship, you know, build the relationship, win the trust, win a customer so that 2000 days later, that person, or 20 days later, that person is thinking, this is the guy that I want to go with, or this is the gal I want to go with. So um, that is the difference between sales and marketing. Sales is, of course, you want to say initially, hey, this is what I do. This is what I sell. Come visit. But after that, if they don't immediately buy, you know, what do you do? So I was on a LinkedIn conversation recently. This person, hit, this is a, another illustration of sales and marketing, right? This woman kind of hit me up for, hey, I'd love to get to know, a, know you. Let's jump on Zoom together. Well, first of all, my LinkedIn profile, check it out. Send me a connection. It's pretty extensive. You can know pretty much all of what I do if you go there. Um, plus, you'll see that I post a lot. So I post a lot of stuff that I'm interested in. So, okay, I'll bite. I like to meet new people. So we set up a Zoom time and I got on the Zoom call. And I also knew that she was a financial planner, as it were. And I happened to know from her LinkedIn profile which particular group she was with. Now, she had not said up front, I'm looking for customers. But, you know, it's unfortunately the average person that is all that they're focused on. And when we got into the conversation, we were 15 minutes into the conversation um, when I finally just was like, you know, I just want to know really where this woman's heart is. Does she really want to know me? Am I just, or is she uh, really just looking for her sale today? And sure enough, I said, you know, I, you know, I know a lot about your company because somebody I respect and know and, and work with every week is in your company. Oh, well, that's nice to know. You know, I'm running short on time and boom, she's gone. She was only looking for the sales. She's not looking for the marketing. If on the other hand, how this could have been so different is that if, if she were to say, you know what, that's great. You know, he's a great person too. I'll have to look him up. And meanwhile, you know, tell me more. What are you interested in? What drives you? What's your passion? How could I help you? Then if this person I work with every week, boom, decides to move to Australia next week, who would I turn to if I needed her services? So that's the difference between, you know, realizing that you can always be marketing. And you know what? The worst you're going to end up with is maybe a, a casual acquaintance that you occasionally touch base with. But boy, in this world, do we have, an, you know, I don't know. Some people would say, yes, you can have too many relationships. And I agree to, to, to somewhat, but I don't know. It's relationships that what are we here for? <laughs> in my opinion, but I'm a relationships person. I get that. Um, somebody just posted in the chat. Thank you, Michael. Um, the returns are in the relationship. Absolutely. So for the average um, small business, um, the difference between sales and marketing is buy now versus let's keep in touch. Let's keep in touch. And when you're ready, I'm here for you. Uh, productive relationships, Sean added on. Good job. Yes, productive relationships. So, you know, give if there's just no connection, yeah, by all means, just be like, cool, you know, let me know how I can help. And if you get those people that are just so diehard, always, you know, eight, what is it? Always be selling or, or always be closing. Um, you can be honest. You can say, hey, back off. You know, I'd like to be a friend, but I'm not going to buy, maybe ever. <laughs> But I do know people, a lot of people maybe, that I'd love to introduce to you at some point. So that's really what I wanted to share with you about um, the difference between sales and marketing, and really how NowSite can facilitate that. I'm gonna jump ahead without going into some further description. We'll do some training today on the back office and how exactly all of this functions. But to re kind of recap, um, the usual process for online marketing essentials is that you need to have social media, website, blog, SEO, email, retargeting, CRM, and analytics. 
many of these companies I've used or have uh, had subscriptions to in the past, even as recent as July, I was spending hundreds of dollars a month. I do know people who spend thousands of dollars a month on all of these things. Ouch. <laughs> um, you know, 500 a month is a pretty good car payment. 2,500 a month is a pretty good mortgage. And what if we can replace all of that, which doesn't talk to each other, which doesn't integrate, which doesn't flow like I showed earlier, and we do it all with one system. That's what NowSite offers. That's what we do. So I, had, I heard Justin Bellobaba talk recently, is this the solution for everybody? Mm, the answer is no. This is the solution for independent business owners that currently, generally currently have no presence online, or they have an expensive website kind of sitting in the corner and they don't know what else to do. Uh, I think this is a fantastic solution for those. If you, instead you're looking for a solution that can do all sorts of crazy bells and whistles, then you may have to actually go back to doing something like this and or hire a tech team <laughs> to help you do that. Um, and, and bless you for that. You know, I think even some people who start here might go to that someday um, if they're wildly successful, but I think they'll also keep up what they've done here on NowSite. It will not be for naught. Um, on top of it, we can do this for a lot less. So here we've got the 500 to 2,500 per month. Here, we recommend everyone start just at the $87 per month. Boom, you can start at $87 per month. That can be what you pay for always. And you get three artificial intelligence, um, in, you know, uh, inspired marketing campaigns, unlimited websites, 10,000 marketing emails, unlimited social media marketing, search engine optimization, file sharing and analytics, and retargeting ads, which we didn't even talk about this. If you want to know more, check out one of my other videos on YouTube, Joyminder Consulting. It's all there. The um, I did talk about the ads, the online ads. That is ex uh, extra, uh, but an ad package can be $50 and you can get 10,000 impressions with your 50 bucks. So it's a pretty inexpensive ad. If you think about what people spend on Facebook, if they spend $5 a day, they're spending $150 on um, one ad being promoted for $5, which isn't huge, and they're spending $150 a month. So this is a fantastic price. Plus, remember, you go more places, not just on Facebook, but lots and lots of other places where you're interested parties, the people you want to market to, maybe instead. Um, like I said, most people start there. If you have a diverse number of products or services or businesses, like I do, um, then you may at some point move up to different things. We do have, if you're listening to this in December, reach back to the person who introduced you to this video this replay or whatever and ask about any promos we've got because we've got an amazing one right now. Um, if you're listening uh, after December, we still reach out and ask, but really $87 a month is a fantastic deal. It's a really, really fantastic price. So I'm going to conclude our presentation for today with that. And I'm going to start a training video in a few minutes. So it'll be a little more interactive and um, we will go from there. Um, somebody's asking about how about li linking to different things. We can actually go through how to do that in the training portion of this video. I'll, tr I'll make a separate recording. If you wanna see that recording, the link will be in the description below and you can find that that way. Thanks for being here. Again, my name is Leanne Lyon with Joyminder Consulting. It's my pleasure to do this. I'm not paid to do this, no site is not endorsing me to do this per se, other than I am a NowSite affiliate. I love what we do for small business and they uh, have my heart all the way. That's what Joyminder Consulting supports as well. Thanks for your time. And we will conclude right now.